welcome back to my channel today I am overwhelmed with joy because number one I'm in a super awesome mood today I don't know why but I'm not gonna question it I just love it I, I feel amazing today and number two is that I'm gonna be sharing with you four different DIYs to store or display your double-ended brushes he's gonna be there he's probably gonna be moving around so I'm just gonna continue because I try to put him down but he keeps getting back up so let's continue uh, so yeah I'm gonna be sharing with you four different DIYs for different uh, ways that you can display or store your uh, double-ended brushes so I went to YouTube Pinterest Instagram and no one seems to have anything for you to like hold your double-ended brushes except like I don't know I just didn't like what I did see so I decided to come up with my own ways to store the double-ended brushes and just share them with you just in case you need some help, like myself. So I ended up coming up with four different ones. I was only trying to do one, but I have four. So I'm super excited because you can get to choose one of these four to do for yourself, but I have four. Four. <laughs> I have four that I can choose from and that makes me really happy because... I'm always like changing stuff around my vanity and different things like that. So I have four completely different um, DIYs that I can actually change around. I think I'm going to split them in three different videos. I'm going to put two together and the rest of it, you know, individually. And I'm just going to do that so it doesn't get like into a super long video. And just so you know, you can watch whatever you do want to watch. one or I should say the first that I'm going to be sharing with you is this one right here it's yellow and it's glory and the reason why I did it this color is because yellow has been that color that just kind of <sighs> makes me happy <laughs> so that's why I chose yellow you can choose whatever color you want and I just put flowers all around it because you know it makes me happy so oh uh, yeah and then I have a smile at the top smile you know you want to smile smile do it <laughs> and then it has magnets mm. this is my favorite part I really wanted to do something with magnets and I absolutely love this ones they're like giant push pins but they don't have that pointy dangerous thing in the end it's just push pins but it's not a push pin and it's not gonna hurt you so I really love this little push pins and that's why I did it like this I really love that it's like um a humongous push pin so as you can see that little tip at the end will help the brushes um, stay in place and not just roll off into somewhere possibly getting eaten by a puppy if you have a puppy because my puppy chews everything so this is how this one looks and now I'm going to show you how it looks with the brushes on so this is how this one looks with the brushes on they're going to stay there they're not going to fall off unless you like throw something at it otherwise it should stay on there and I should mention that my smile thingy was like an almost epic fail and that's because I decided to use stencils instead of buying the little silver letters because I thought that I could do it with stencils but it turns out that I'm not really good with stencils so it's a little messed up but it's still you can still see what it says but um yeah this is how it looks I hope you enjoy watching this video and I hope you try at least one of the DIYs hopefully <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching and let's get started with the very first tutorial. For this DIY you are going to need a frame. I personally decided to go for a plain wooden frame just because I wanted to be able to decorate it and paint it however I want. But you can choose whichever frame you may like. You will also need magnets. And finally, just gather anything that you may want to use to decorate your frame. Whatever that may be, just gather it and just have it ready so you can start your DIY. I'm going to paint the center of the frame a black color just so that I can have a really nice black background. Mm -hmm. 
While that dries, I'm going to move on to the frame and I'm just going to paint that a really pretty yellow. I suggest that you apply one coat first and then just let that dry so that the rest of the coats adhere better to the wood. I decided to change the background of the frame from black to white so while that dries I'm going to go ahead and try to decorate my frame. So I decided that I want to write something at the top of the frame so I'm just going to do that using this stencil so I'm just going to arrange whatever word I want and I'm going to paint it silver. Alright, so while the letters dry, I'm going to move on with the rest of the decoration. On a little side note, the silver that I was using was just not looking as good as I wanted it to look. So I actually went back and covered it with yellow and then I went back and just did the letters in a matte black paint. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the silver on top of the black since the silver looks amazing on top of the black matte. So I did have to go back and fix that because the silver was just not looking good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do the silver again. And finally everything has dried completely so now we're just going to put the frame back together. For this final step, I am going to be using magnets. You can definitely just use hot glue or anything and just glue anything that will hold your brushes down. I personally decided to use the magnets because I can take them off and uh, just add or take away depending if I get more brushes or I lose any brushes. And also, I wanted to use these magnets that I found because I really love them. I'm going to be using these magnet strips and I'm just going to take one whole strip down and just kind of measure how much I need. So now I'm just going to cut as many pieces that I need. I'm going to cut the edges of the magnets just to make sure that they don't show. I have arranged the magnets now and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the stick part and just glue them down. So that's done and now I can place the magnets down. everything for this video if you want to check out the second the third and the fourth DIY then just click down below in one of the links I will leave those videos down below so you can check those out and again thank you so much for watching and subscribing and also don't forget to share this DIY if you like it with your girl friend BFF whatever you may have please share it if you liked it and I will see you in my next video bye, -bye.